Hey everyone, it's Mike. This is Hashtag Sweet Freedom Headquarters right here at Campsite 24. So today I want to talk about what it feels like to get started with Sweet Dash. So when you first start, you're going to wish and think and want a software that is just perfectly designed for your business. Something you can use right away, something you can spend like one hour figuring out and then you're off. If you try to run your business like that, that's short-term thinking. And what you need to run a business is long-term thinking that's all about systems and processes. The truth is, is that your business is very unique and only you understand the systems and processes and they can be very different than the software tools that are available to you. What is more likely is that you will start to compromise your business processes as you imagine they would work best because you would know it's your business you will compromise and start to mold your business processes to what is available in this software that you're considering or multiple softwares that you're trying to string together and make them work as if they were one basically it's a case of instead of the software fitting you you change to fit the software and how it's forcing you to work on the other hand Sweet Dash was designed to be both powerful and flexible in a modular way so that you can put the pieces together to fit what your business needs instead of you bending your business around some process or set of processes that are imposed on you by another software or some ungodly number of softwares working together. If you don't have systems and processes, then this is my time to try to become a disciple and say, trust me, you need these. I can give you examples. I can give you a reading list. And it all starts with E-Myth, a book that was 20 years ago. But the concept is the same. You need systems and processes in your business. So get out a sheet of paper, start sketching. What does my client need? What's the first interaction? What happens then? What happens next? And start diagramming it out or just writing it out, however it makes sense for you. But start getting it on paper. And only then are you starting. Flesh that out as much as possible and then try to replicate that as much as possible using software. If you don't do this, I understand a lot of people don't, but you have a much lower chance of success and your odds of working yourself for a very long time without major success are much, much higher. So come up with a document, sketch everything out just as you need it. So you need to know what you need to accomplish in what order are those steps. What does your client need to see? What does your staff need to see? You need to get in this mindset and start sketching it out drawing lines between them, flows, whatever you need, and then you use this worksheet to guide your build out. If you have that piece of paper, that worksheet, that diagram, whatever it is for you, you are 10 times better off in business, for sure. In software, you're ready now. Let's go to work. All right, go get it. See you, sweet mates. Bye.